What is going on guys, Noah Brewer here back again with another video and today we're going to be talking about gem pages. Um, essentially it's a page builder inside of Shopify that allows you to make actually good looking product pages and other pages as well um, inside of Shopify itself. Now I know that funnels are one of the highest converting types of websites nowadays. Um, the problem is with Shopify, it's not structured like a funnel. It's structured very much like a, a website with, you know, navigation, a footer, you know, all the, all these sorts of things. So what gym pages allows you to do, it allows you to treat your product pages and really any other page as a funnel. Shopify is really limiting when it comes to, you know, what you can put in the description, where you can put images, where the price sh is showing, all that sort of stuff. And gem pages essentially allows you to customize it as if it were like a click funnels it's like a drag and drop template um, similar to click funnels if you're familiar with them first i want to get into what is gem pages for those of you who don't know essentially it's a shopify app i believe it is 30 to 60 dollars a month depending on what package you get um, and we've been using it with the agency now i actually used it um, for viral ecom ads um, before I used it with the agency because we were looking for a way to make the website look a lot better But we want to stick with the Shopify platform just because that's what we do. Um, you know, we want to practice what we preach um, so we discovered gem pages and um, It was really really good for making our website look good and we were able to do a lot more custom pages like our ambassadors page um, We did some things with our blog with it um, but essentially we started using it for our product pages, which I'm showing on screen here and it actually looks really really good like you can see um, the normal Shopify product page is usually similar to what's on screen now But the description will be kind of like in the bottom right here And then it'll be empty over here and then you scroll down and you have the reviews so this allows us to put you know images videos wherever we want on this actual web page and it looks really really good um, so we enjoyed it you know it got really good results it even increased our conversion rate a little bit um, for the product pages that we used it with so I decided to start testing it with um, the agency clients and one of my ad buyers actually took it upon himself to start testing it and he was able to get really good results um, and actually our top client right now who just surpassed 700k um, I just congratulated him on my story he's actually that's actually the most revenue that a client of the agency has done um, I've had students surpass 2 million but this is you know with the agency um, actually done for you service he was actually using gem pages and I think that's a big part of the reason for his success um, not really because it's a better looking website but more because of the conversions aspect of it I think Shopify's templated um, sales process is really 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 good um, and it converts really really well um, but what gem pages does is it allows you to kind of like portray the value of your product a lot better on the actual product page one of the things that makes gem pages really good as opposed to you know just using click funnels or lead pages or one of these other funnel builders is that it actually is inside of your actual Shopify store um, the problem that I've had with click funnels um, for e-commerce is primarily we're using Shopify and when you when you move over to click funnels it's a whole different platform aside from just being annoying at having two platforms um, it was also weird with the tracking and the fulfillment you know it doesn't it doesn't uh, integrate with Oberlo very well and the click funnels integration with Shopify is pretty terrible um, so one of the biggest benefits about this is that I'm on my I'm on my uh, permanent marketing test store right now um, Which you can actually go and look at for yourself um, The URL is permanentmarketing.myshopify.com. Um, this is essentially like the example store that we give to all of our clients and people that ask like hey How should I do this um, and we actually have a gem pages product page here? Um, so you can see it didn't take us away from the site if you literally just go to products and go to the dent puller um, it's integrated perfectly with the website like you wouldn't even be able to tell that we're using an app here Which is one of the things that I really really love about it um, But you can kind of see the structure of the template which we'll go through a little bit But first I kind of want to show you how you can actually use gem pages like how to modify stuff So you're gonna want to come to apps here and open up gem pages and I'm incognito So it's gonna give me all these annoying welcome messages uh, but you can go to product pages and we have the dent puller right here. So one of the great things about gem pages is um, Templates so I can make a template 
and give it to my clients. The bad thing about gem pages is we're actually only allowed to share the template five times for each time that we make it. So sadly, um, the templates are reserved for clients of the actual agency and we're even charging a little bit just because we have to recreate the template every single time and hand deliver the share link. Otherwise, I would put a share link in the description, um, but kind of the, the way that I wanna show this to you is how it's structured so that you can go into yours and just copy exactly what we did. Um, sadly, we can't share the template with everybody because we'd have to individually send it out to every single one of you, um, but you can look at what we're doing and copy it. So this is the back end of gem pages here. Um, very, very similar to ClickFunnels. I'm really familiar with ClickFunnels. So that's why I was kind of able to come into gem pages and learn really, really quickly how to use it because it's, it's basically like the platform um, that I know just as much as Shopify. Um, essentially you have rows, um, columns, um, you have these green sections, which is your actual content. Um, and it's really, really simple over here. You can just click and drag stuff in. So if I want to put some text right here, um, there'd be some text right here. Um, but yeah, super easy to use. And you know, if, if you have a button, you essentially just click the button and you can put the link over here. Um, you can change the font size. It's, it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, it might be a little bit of a pain in the butt to try and click and drag everything to look identical to this, but I highly recommend it because this is the same exact template that we used on the store that we were able to take to 700K. So now that I've kind of showed you a little bit about how it works and how to edit stuff and how to actually set up your template, um, I wanna go and walk you through each step of the template, um, why it's important. We follow a very similar structure to the one that um, I talked about when I made the high converting product pages video um, in terms of you know making your gifts, making your um, product descriptions, making your product page. Um, all of this is essentially the same, just kind of like in a different layout, a different format. So up here we just have this big image um, and this is just a sentence that you can just pull out, uh, pull from your product description. Um, I do recommend having a full product description even though we don't put it on the actual site. Um, because it allows you to pull from the description and put it into this uh, this template here. Um, not everything on here you need, um, but you can kind of see the structure. You have a get yours now button and that scrolls down to this section, which is essentially a mirror of the default Shopify section. Um, but you can see how um, the layout of gem pages allows you to kind of sell the product better. Like these kind of flip flop sections right here. Um, you can point out like really important features on the product and you can show a little GIF, um, which I think GIFs are really important because it, it allows, it's basically like a visual that goes along with your description. So as they're reading, they can kind of see what you're talking about. Um, and you know, a call to action button. You can notice that almost almost on every section of this website, we have a call to action button. Um, so, you know, there's always a way to progress them through the funnel. Um, and then, you know, this little flip flop thing here, GIF on top, image on bottom. Um, we have this money back guarantee thing, um, which you can put that there. You don't necessarily have to, um, but you can, if, if you don't put it there, put something else there though, something about your customer experience or customer service, um, something along those lines. Um, we did the same sort of method where we kind of branded the product. Um, we just made a logo for it and, and came up with a name, um, just thought up Dent Pull, which is kind of like our the name for the product. So this looks really good. Um, the only thing I would change here is I would change the colors. Um, but this is just an example website, so we didn't bother. Um, but you can see that the logo here is like this dark blue color, so I'd probably change everything else to that blue color. You have your default Shopify kind of, you know, buy it now picture, name, price, buy it now button. And then below that you have what the package includes, which I think is really good because right when they're about to click add to cart or buy it now, um, they can see exactly what they're getting, um, you know, with no fluff, no images, nothing, just strictly what they're getting. And then right here, we actually have a Luke's integration. So Gem Pages um, allows you to integrate with certain other apps so that you can show um, your Luke's reviews on your uh, Gem Pages product page. Um, and then this section down here, I believe we have as a default on every single product page. Um, it's just a normal FAQ and you can fill it out. Um, just click the, click the things and you can just type like this. So yeah, this is essentially the template that we're using to scale our clients um, using gem pages. So, so I hope that you can turn around and go put gem pages on your site. 
Um, just look up gem pages in the Shopify app store if you want it. I don't have an affiliate or anything with them. Um, I just think it's a really good app and we got really good results with it. So hopefully you can use this video to actually help you. And if you want to copy our template, you can really sucks that I can't share the template with you guys. Um, but if you are an agency client, you can definitely re definitely request our template. I believe it's like five bucks. Um, we just charge to cover the uh, VA cost to like make the template and then share it with you. Um, and we're perfectly okay doing that. Um, but yeah, hopefully you're able to copy this and test it out, like test it out. Let me know what happens in the comment section. We're seeing a super duper high success rate when, when it comes to testing products using this template. Um, and we're mixing it with the new CBO strategy that I talked about on my channel in my last video as well. So yeah, go test it out. Let me know how it works. Leave some feedback in the comments. Maybe I'm missing something here and you can provide some value to myself and the other viewers. Um, but yeah, that's it for this video. This is No Brewer and I'm out. Peace.